<laughs> Great. My computer goes missing. And now, now I need to find my Baja Blast can. Whoever stole it must have already drank it by now. This certainly leaves me in a pickle. And now I've got a mystery on my hands. I will say, this year has been interesting. I mean, it certainly had ups and downs, like, literally. But I will say, I do wonder what 2023 has in store. Probably a lot, considering the fact the way this year went. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. For now, I'm just grateful that I've been able to stay alive on YouTube this long, and in general. Well, Happy New Year to me. Cheers. where I want you. Enjoy your little toast while you can, because next year is going to be one heck of a ride. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> September 8, 2023. So far, this year has been an interesting year in terms of IRL. Um, I was planning on going to college, but however, turns out that is a dream that might have to be put on hold for now. I like to think it's dead, but maybe it's just a limbo. But anyway, other than that, I technically have a job now, even though the hours are pretty flexible with me. I've been making a bunch of money. However, in terms of IRL going shaky, in terms of Thomas though, well, well, I've been working on videos. However, it's been quite rough ever since I graduated high school. I mean, I tried to make a bunch of videos in June, tried to play catch up in July, and August, I tried to definitely make up for that, but to no prevail, and here we are at the beginning of this month. So, hopefully, the rest of the year goes pretty smoothly from here on out. In other words, I technically have a mystery on my hands. I still have to find my computer that went missing almost a year ago, maybe even a year ago, I, I don't really remember, but I have to find my computer that went missing. Other than that, I've been also trying to solve the mystery of these two artifacts, the lamp and TARDIS that Thomas the Small Engine gave me. However, I haven't gotten anywhere yet, so I think I might have to put this little expedition here on hold. But until then, that's everything that's been happening recently. So without further ado, useful, out. Alright, that's done. To be fair, I really should get a real tape recorder, but that doesn't matter right now. Now, I know I said I should take a break from these artifacts, but I need to keep studying these things a little bit more. I mean, ever since Chase handed off this TARDIS to me, and ever since I found this lamp ages ago, I really need to figure something out here. But, however, you know, I could use a bit of help with these. So you know what? Maybe... I will call Sudrian. Maybe he can help me about. Oh, what? What? What could that be?
Dear Useful, I hope you are doing well. I could have just DM'd you on Twitter or called you on Skype, but I wanted to send this personal letter to tell you that I'm away on some big well big adventure of sorts. To put it in less cringeworthy terms, I'm away on a big trip and I won't be back for a while. I'm still planning to return to YouTube, which, by the way, don't make a joke out of that. But I wanted to let you know that I'd be out of service for a while, so I wouldn't really be able to help you at the moment. When will I be back? I don't know, but until then, I'll keep in touch in some way. Sincerely, The Sudrian. Father. Well, looks like The Sudrian isn't going to be much help after all. Honestly, maybe I need to take a break from these artifacts anyway. Maybe what I should be doing is coming up with an idea for my next video. However, I think I should do a review, as it has been a while since my last one, like technically my five-year anniversary. But here's the thing, the stock standard reviews are just becoming so bland, so boring, I don't know what else to do besides that. Wait a minute. Maybe I should do a crossover. I haven't done one of those in, like, over two years. Like, last time I did one was with Thomas the Small Engine. Well, then you leave me with no choice. I know you're a simp for this character, so if you don't do a crossover with me, I will burn this Mighty Mac. You wouldn't dare. I already defaced it. That was a interesting time. But here's the thing. I've done a crossover with the Cedrian, Gordon Fano 4, and Thomas the Small Engine, obviously. And that was only three people. Who should I do a crossover with now? I got it. Hey, Nick, how are you? It's me, Useful. Oh, hey, Useful. I'm doing good. How are you? I've been doing pretty well. Can't complain. But, um, anyway, I wanted to ask you something. Alright. What is it? Well, since you helped me pick out an item for my Christmas review, Dustin, I wanted to repay you by asking if you wanted to do a crossover with me. Well, that sounds great, Useful. But I'm going to have to decline. It's not that I don't want to, it's that I'm just far too busy at the moment. In fact, I'm getting ready to start filming some projects right now. So, maybe next time. Alright, Nick, that's totally understandable. Um, hope to talk to you soon. Okay, well, um, ooh, I know another person who I could call. Hey, useful. Hey, Andrew. Been quite a while. Um, I guess I'll just cut to the chase. Uh, do you want to do a crossover with me? Sorry, man. I would, but to be honest with you, I got a lot of stuff on my plate right now, you know, in the real world. And I gotta be honest with you, man. I don't really do the whole review thing anymore. But what about the Diesel 10 review you're doing with the Sudrian? Touche, but... I think that was filmed in, like, 2020. I don't even think that's kin to the lore anymore, man. Oh, yeah, right. I wonder when he's gonna get around to releasing that. Again, sorry, man, but, hey, I wish you the best of luck. Well, dang it. Well, you know what they say, three strikes, you're out. So, might as well try someone else. Oh my gosh, Steve, for the last time, I'm not giving you my red metallic James. You have no use for something like that. You're a Tomy user. Uh, Joey, I think you got the wrong person. This is useful. Wait, you, 
Useful? Is that you? Well, who else were you expecting? Steve. Stupid question. But speaking of questions, I wanted to ask if you wanted to do a crossover with me. Wait, a crossover? I mean, I would love to, but the last time I did one, my sunglasses kind of exploded. That wasn't a crossover. That was a stock standard review with the Sudrian making a cameo. Oh, wait. Actually, my last crossover was with Turbo 7-Eleven. Well, at least you've actually done one. Then there was also that one with Will on Murdoch, and you know... Didn't that review get taken down, though? Oh, yeah. I will remember... Look, Joey, as much as I love remembering the past as much as the next guy, I asked you a question in the here and now. Do you want to do a crossover with me or not? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, Useful. I think I'm gonna have to pass on this one. As much as I would love to be a part of this whole plotline thing you've got going on, I don't think I'm quite ready for it yet, but good luck on the crossover anyways. Wait, did he just break the fourth wall? Oh, yeah, gosh. Uh, well, I'm out. Ugh. Never mind, you know what? It's literally three strikes and I'm out, so... I'm, okay, maybe this isn't a game of baseball here, but apparently no one just wants to do a crossover anymore. I mean, I want to. I need to find someone who's willing to do one with me. But who would actually be willing to do one with me? Oh, hey, useful! I wasn't expecting you. Hey, Henry, uh, what you doing? Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna question it. Um, anyway, say, um. I guess while I have you, if you're not busy, would you like to do a crossover with me? Heck yeah! Wow, I didn't think it'd be that easy. Is there some sort of catch? No, no, I promise. I haven't done a crossover in four years. And the last time I did one, I got beat for the inaugural TWRC Championship. I've been looking for a chance to redeem myself. And I think that this is the perfect opportunity. Great to have you on board, Henry. Yahoo! Well, now that that's settled, what should we review? Well, it's a character I've actually been wanting to review for a little while now, and haven't been able to get to it until now. How about Mighty Mac? I'm sure they got a lot of review potential. That's perfect! A crossover with two people that review two characters, technically. Indeed. Now, let's get started. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm East Fungin 11 And I'm Crimson2091, a.k.a. Henry. And today, I am not only back with another review, but with a crossover. So today, we are going to be reviewing one of my personal favorites, Mighty Mac. So without further ado, let's get this review started. So here is Thomas the Small Engine with the backstory. Wait, what? Did somebody say my name? Yes, Thomas, I did say your name. I want you to give us the backstory on Mighty Mac. Uh, useful, I, I gotta go. I was about to go see the new Blue Beetle movie. Did, uh, weren't you supposed to say Ted is gonna give the backstory? Yes, but I didn't say that for two reasons. One, that joke has been run into the ground to death. Two, even with Henry's context, I don't even think he could get Ted to do the backstory for this crossover. So, why not have you do it instead? I see. Well, I guess I should be honored that you want me to give the backstory. We're doing Mighty Mac then. Uh, I don't really know hit era characters too well, so I guess I'll just read off the script. 
Mighty Mac is a double Fairley engine who works on the Scarlowy Railway. Their basis, as I said, is a double Fairley, which can mostly be seen working in Wales on the Festiniog Railway. They were first introduced in the Season 9 episode with the same name, Mighty Mac. While that was their main episode, after that they were reduced to cameo appearances along with some minor speaking roles here and there. And out of all the characters that they planned to bring back into CGI somewhat, Mighty Mac was not one of these. But like Fearless Freddy, they were indirectly mentioned in Hero of the Rails before the narrow gauge engines were brought back in Blue Mountain Mystery, which included Duncan in Season 18, and they did introduce some CGI engines such as Victor, Luke, and Millie. But before Mighty Mac was introduced, they had a predecessor known as Little Giant who was supposed to be introduced in Season 6, but was dropped for unknown reasons and was never included in any scripts. But another thing that makes Mighty Mac interesting is that instead of being one engine with two face, they are two ends with two different opposing personalities. Two faces. Mighty being the older of the two ends, yeah, figure out how that works, and Mac being the younger one. So, how was that? Well done, Thomas. As much as I could have added, you know, how Mighty Mac have, you know, different faces or how Mighty's windows are yellow and Mac's are red, but you pretty much hit the nail on the head with all the necessary things. So thank you very much. What do you think, Henry? I gotta admit, it was pretty good. Even though I wish we could have done the backstory ourselves, he did a dang fine job. Thank you, Henry. I'm scripted to say you're a good kid. I... Sorry, I don't know you that well. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Well, Thomas, in that case, I think your job here is done. All right. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, Useful. See you next time, and good luck with the crossover, you two and... I'm running late for the movie. Can I go now? Well, now that the backstory's been done, let's get to reviewing the actual item itself. To the set table! Mighty Mac was introduced to the Wooden Railway line in 2007, and while they were discontinued in 2010, they were reintroduced for a year in 2012. They are a very special item indeed, as they're the only ones that have bipolar magnets, which means they can connect to either side of engines or rolling stock. However, they can't connect to other Mighty Macs. It's just not possible. Something interesting is that their character card claims that they're the strongest engine on Sodor, but only when they're working together. Even then, I personally don't believe that this is true. I don't mean to be that guy, but I feel like the strongest engine on the island wouldn't be a narrow gauge engine. While I don't believe that size matters in most cases, I feel that it does here. You really think that Mighty Mac can pull the Express or Flying Kipper like Gordon and Henry can? Heck, I'd argue that Murdoch would be stronger than either of them. Okay, okay, I'm getting off topic, let's just move on. Interestingly enough, Mighty Mac wasn't included in any sets or packs, they were sold individually. There was a plan for a talking railway variant of Mighty Mac, but I think it got cancelled. Although I could have sworn I saw a version of it somewhere. I've actually seen one before with my own eyes! Neil the Ugly Engine 02 has one! So, no, yeah. Henry, I think Mighty? Oh yeah, Henry. Mac? Yeah. Yeehaw! Okay, don't be a show-off. Alright, I won't. But, I do have some final thoughts. At the end of the day, there isn't a whole lot to complain about with this item, other than the character card stating something that I don't think is true, but that doesn't have anything to do with the engine itself. It's a pretty faithful model of Mighty Mac, and two-way magnets are definitely a plus. They're a good item to have in your collection. I give Mighty Mac a 9 out of 10. Mighty Mac is definitely in my top 5 favorite wooden railway models. From their lovely design, to their distinct faces, to the beautiful shade of royal blue, you really can't go wrong with their model. They got the flick of hair down to a T on Mighty's face, and fun fact, Mac is the first ever character to have freckles, the other characters being Rosie and Kevin. All in all, I highly recommend them as they are two entities in one. It's just a shame the fans haven't really done much in terms of good story potential for Mighty Mac because there is a lot there for the taking. But anyway, I'm going to give their model a solid 10 out of 10. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this crossover review. Without further ado, I'm Yusuf Engine 11 
and I'm Crimson2091, aka Hannery. And we're both signing off. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Now this is the most fun crossover I've done in a while. Agreed. I haven't done a crossover in like two years. Well, not to brag or make it a contest or anything, but like I said earlier, I haven't done one in four years. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, this was a fun crossover. Thank you very much, Henry, for doing this with me. No problem, useful. Now that I've done something like this, I have a lot of motivation to work on my own projects. In fact, if you excuse me, I'm going to get back to working on my remakes. I mean series. Yahoo! Well, you know what the old saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them. Uno, uno, says, when I, uno, uno, says, when I, uno, uno, says, please don't get up in my way. When I, uno, uno, says, when I, uno, uno, says, when I, uno, uno, says, please don't get up in my way. Uno, uno, says, when I, uno, uno, says, when I, uno, uno, says, please don't get up in my way. When I, uno, uno, says, what's up? Uno, uno, says, what's up? Uno, uno, says, what's up? Please don't get up in my way. What's up? Boy live off of Broadway. I took the A train to 168. The mini condos playing dominoes and then blocking those all on my plate. New York in my mind state. But you know we take it international. We finna to follow any with the master go. So we hang with and bang with every language. Even now we speaking that Spanglish like. Be my lo lo co ta ta let's go. I'm an all sweet out here. Oh, me and me go see yo needles from the west side to the east coast. So ain't nobody rapping like this. What? On the ship the name of my click. Yup, todos los días, manito, dale, ya tu sabe, huh? Uno, uno. Says, when I, uno, uno, says, uh -huh. when I, uno, uno, says, please don't get up in my way. Uh, when I, uno, uno, says, uh, when I, uno, uno, says, uh, when I, uno, uno, says, uh, please don't get up in my way. When I, uno, uno, says, when I, uno, uno, says, when I, uno, uno, says, please don't get up in my way. When I, uno, uno, says, when I, uno, uno, says, when I, uno, uno, says, please don't get up in my way. This for my bottles in Cali, Dominicanos up in NY. Robert, for the last time, that guy looked nothing like Henry VIII. Let it go. Crying out loud. Oh, another call? Okay. I'm popular today. Hey, what's up? Oh, this is like a cybersecurity thing? Sorry, I'm good. You know, I think everything's secure. I don't think I'll need those services, but I appreciate it. Ah, yeah! I'm hacking into the mainframe, baby!